I want to talk with you for a minute about simple and yet profound prayer. So often, I mean a million times throughout my ministry, I've had people come to me and they have said, I don't know how to pray. I don't know how to talk to God. I don't know how to, to tell God of the challenges that I face and make God understand. And I simply tell people, just talk to God. They can talk to me. Well, how much easier it is to talk to all love, all acceptance of God. To just form your words any way that you want. Simple and, and yet profound in realizing your oneness. That you're really, really in communication with God. Jesus gave us the Lord's Prayer as an example of a way to pray. In teaching us to pray, he introduced this simple, yet heartfelt prayer with this explanation. Now listen to this. Your Father knows what you need before you ask. Well, a lot of people have uh, read that and passed over that. And then other people have thought, well, if God knows what I need, why pray? Why should I waste my time if God already knows all that I could ever say? Actually, in other versions of the Bible, it says more than you could ever say if you spent years trying to formulate your prayer. You pray not to change or convince God. You pray to change and convince you. That is what we have to do. We have to remind ourselves that we're one with God. We have to remind ourselves that God is with us. And we can do that in a few simple words, or sometimes it takes longer. But it doesn't for God. Sometimes it does for us. Jesus assured us that we do not have to be concerned with formal or fancy words or holy words with our listing of concerns to God when we pray. As we pray, the most important thing is just to let go of our concerns, and let God be active in our lives. The wrong way to pray is to talk to God holding our problem and then refusing to let go of it, taking it back on the minute we're through and experiencing the pain and the, the heartbreak. We have to let go and let God, and that's a powerful prayer, let go and let God. I've said that many times, and when I've said it, I've said it to Chris, to remind Chris that it's not up to Chris, that Chris doesn't have to do it all, that I simply have to let go and let God. God knows our needs even before we ask. And as we pray, we do not tell God our woes, we attune ourselves to God. We let go of our thoughts of lack uh, or the challenge or the problem, and we relax if we allow ourselves, relax in the presence of God. And we take this attitude with us throughout the day. See, when we let go and let God, we don't hold on to our problem. That's not faith. Letting go and letting God, that's faith. So I pray with you right now that you are able to let go and let God. God bless you, my friend.